All right. Well, today I'm doing something I've never done personally or on the channel, and that's going to Chalkers Auction in Southington, Ohio. I think that's how you say it. I'm sure you guys from there have your own way to say it, but that's how it's spelled, so I'm sticking to it for now. Subject to change at a later date. Uh, they got some really nice tractors this time around. One in particular I will be highlighting. And about two years ago, the fad started with these machines. And it's only going up from here, apparently. So I'll give you a little hint. I bid on one two years ago at an auction, and I stopped at $5,000. And at this point in the junction, I regret stopping at $5,000. We might see why today, because I'm definitely going $5,000 on this. But I think opening bid will be darn near that. So let's go. S A T U R D A Y night. Get your popcorn ready. Premier. Well, here it is as you walk in the gate. Food. Pisser. A lot of equipment. It was kind of caught me off guard. You're driving through like little tiny residential road, and then boom, you're here. So. I'm here. What they do, they get everything lined up and then they drive it through the building, sell it in here. It looks like some pretty nice mowers. They got a, well, that's a Toro wheel horse and Steiner and Simplicity. Got them all lined up, ready to go. Guess is they're gonna do these and then the farm tractors. Well, this is the tractor. This is the highlight of the auction for me. There's a bunch more we're gonna cover. Super MTA 1954 for those of you not in the know. Now he's got this decked out, okay, sticker wise, emblem wise. He was a polar, so they have, you know, different things that they do to tractors other than collectors, what collectors would do or farmers would do. Got a homemade bracket up here, you know, pulling circuit, Copenhagen school st sticker on there, pulling circuit. Um, I kind of know who the owner is at least i mean it, his brother and uh they're 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 polars no doubt about it but uh i'll walk around the back walk and talk about this tractor and uh really good skins on the rear and i'm not sure exactly what it has on the rear yet but yeah and you can see definitely rig this up you know i get it and i asked i says why are you selling it he says well not an international guy you know, this is what the rear end looks like. He rigged this up for easy on, easy off. I do like that. Um, the roller, I don't know if, you know, this has been, you know, farming, fixing, fabricating. Got the roller on there, 540, one outlet. Yeah, it's a super MTA. Um, I look forward to hit at least six grand, and eight grand wouldn't surprise me at all. Got an international 544 here, gasser. Yeah, de decent skins. They're okay. Yeah, old 544. He's got the golf ball special. You're gonna get a wet butt if you sit on it. I don't know. Cat two hitch in the rear. What, probably 55 horse, 50, 55. It's the one step up from the 504. It's a lot more desired tracker than the 504. And the serial number reads, I believe, 12980. So there you go. 544. And man, they got these tractors crammed in here, not to butt. And we're going to go right over to a super w6 standard and not much more said about it looks like they rigged up some power steering there there you go and she's seen better days 6214 is the serial number yeah see there's your seat there you go Skins are okay. Fronts are, steers are good. Yeah. She's left her mark, no doubt about it. If somebody wanted a project tractor, this is 
this has got that potential. More than likely not field ready. International 766 farm all variety. And uh, I don't know, there's a battery on the other side. There's not one here. Uh, it's not the right battery on the other side, which you will see soon enough. Um, highly desirable tractor if you were ever going to get one and 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 put money into it this would certainly be one of the ones you could do that to and be okay financially speaking but uh skins on this look okay i mean for for my use i mean would i run them yeah i'd run them so there you go let's walk around the other side here yeah I don't know. I mean, we're going to hear it start. We're going to see it actually go. They got the TA lever back, so who knows how many hills they've gone down with loads in the back with that back and used it as a jake brake. And, uh, oh man, that number is 249-0181-U011. I mean, jeez. But anyways, if you got the first few, you're good to go. And there you go. I don't know the hours on it and they didn't put the hours on it so let's climb up and see what the hours are uh yeah you ain't seeing through that well yeah you can see what i mean by not the right battery on there it needs two batteries anyways for diesel i don't know are those 15 okay there's 14 938s way under sized tire for this should have 18 438s on that but there you go two remotes and a cat too 1000 pto 540 and it looks like an original international top link check that out you don't see them around well you do but you're going to pay for them and then need to haul a trailer there you go it's got an additional spot for remote so there you go well i got to get a ford in here ford 4600 for you first on race dayers tons of weights i'm surprised they're selling the weights with the tractor um man you almost you never see that never and these look like they're about 75s they could be 100 fool me but yeah they don't they don't look big enough to be 100 but yeah there you go, I'll walk around the back. And then we got red power right beside it. And there's gonna be a tractor here that's gonna, gonna make you chuckle a little bit. Yeah, it's got a Cat 2 on it, 540, one remote. This would be a useful little tractor around the farm, little helper. Tis the year of the 300, and this is the utility. And uh, we've seen a couple of row crops in the last couple of weeks. And, uh, might as well switch it up go utility and i don't know if they got the pad for this um i've seen where they're just completely missing this and i don't know if because that's welded on there and that's kind of important having back support just saying not spraying but uh yeah this has got the fast hitch the skins on this are really good this looks like it'd be a runner you know just does uh, i know somebody that so he probably brush hogged with this it's got the under exhaust and uh i i know somebody that was plowing with a an international 300 pulling a tube bottom and i don't know if i can squeeze through there or not if i get caught in here i'm gonna yell and see how long it takes people to come and rescue me well there you go at the fast hitch another original top link and no remote that i see and I see what you see, and vice versa. Yeah, those are new. New for you. And it ain't blue, but that is. Well, here's a 656 farm all variety. International with a 282. And if it's got a 282, it might be for you. But not for me, because most of these require about two-thirds of a can of ether to get them started because guys didn't fix the glow plugs on them and then they got them ether addicted and i don't want to hear oh they don't get ether addicted you're personifying them it's a figure of speech idiot i know you had your fingers on the keyboard and really wanted to type in there how they don't get ether addicted but bull crap you start them on ether and they 
you'll always have them on ether. But yeah, there you go. Come over here, we got the Devil's Tractors, Farmall 666, that's yeah, international. Um, skins on that are good too, man. Actually, they should be on the 766 because they look like 18.4s or 16.938s. Even those are too small. You got the uh, steers on here, the less compacting steers. But yeah, uh, uh, she's bleeding a little bit there, you know what I mean? You know what that means. Let's walk around the back, see what, see what it's got here. Yeah, dual remote, 540, Cat 2, good for you. Another original top link. Man, we're batting 10,000. International 1486, and this has got, looks like got some service records hanging, dangling and hanging. Of course, I can't really read them because I'm not sporting my birth control type glasses at the moment. Um, I see something about a clutch. Here, I'll get it close so you guys can read it. And there you go. Looks like some work's been done to it, so bid with confidence. There ain't no skin left on that, but at least it's the right size. 1,540. Tripled up on the remotes, Cat 3. Oh yeah, we're slick here. About, I don't know, 10% tread if I'm being very nice. And, uh, New steers, yeah, new steers up front, but yeah, if you bought this, you'd have to put drives on it. Hey, there's something you don't see every day, a Ford 901 Selecto Speed high crop, and uh, I'm guessing this is an original high crop. Um, looks like he added some stuff to it here. I don't know if it has markers or for a sprayer or something, but yeah got the blue seat and if it's blue it's for you so if you're a first on race day guy this is definitely for you got the exhaust blowing out the side there yep skinny tires and i mean when i say skinny i'm talking like nine five forty twos and stuff yeah it's got an outlet wow we're remote cat one hitch i mean have fun hooking something up to it you know 10 feet in the air but Hey, it's college. Kids like it. Stuff. The one thing about these, they're probably probably 50% tread. But yeah, I just figured I'd show this because I know I got first on race day fans and uh, it's something abnormal for the channel. Now check this out. A white high crop 260. And this has got them big 42, I don't know. Let me see if I can find the tire set. 12 4 42s and uh i mean it you know honestly it doesn't look that bad just from the naked eye without driving it taking it through the gears and working it it's got a remote ski doesn't have a three point but it has a hitch and a 540 540 that's about what i can bench 540 pounds and uh yeah it looks really clean chrome stacked got the blue bonnet on it actually silver bonnet but you know you get the concept the idea yeah check this out man i've never seen one there you go got an international 350 utility she worked hard um it, it, it looks like everybody that owned this used it to the fullest extent of the law um, at least it's got a seat intact and yeah, wet in the middle, but what do you want? Yeah, fast hitch. Yeah. yeah, it just looks left out. It doesn't look shed park or anything like that. You get your remote up top there. Yep. International 350. Ute. We'll keep red power just a rolling. Here's an international 826 Farmall. And this is another one of them tractors like the 766. If you bought it and put money into it, you'd be okay. Um, it's not a tractor that's gonna peak out in price at 5,000 and that's all it's ever gonna be worth, even if you put 20 grand into it. 
um now comes with a weight bracket and it's rough it's had a bunch of add-on nonsense that i would immediately get rid of that's first thing i do is peel all this crap off of there he set it up for a foot throttle you know so be it so be it 18 4 34s in there still loaded um, you're gonna need rims that's for sure and it's got the clamp on rings which i hate i just go get the hubs for three four hundred dollars make you hollers dual remotes dual pto looks cat tui to me hong kong fui to me so yeah you know, yeah you're gonna need rims on both sides but yeah yeah this 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 nonsense gots to go i i do like the upgraded step like harmless farmer put on his 856 that was good upgrade but yeah 826 pickup sticks super c with the cultivators and the single wheel up front here that's a sweet corn special right there it's got a, a lot of nonsense going on um but comes with the cultivators and new skins i don't know what size they are rims terrible just terrible got one got a three point far 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 aftermarket like so aftermarket it was homemade that's not a kit that's not a bought kit like you can buy the kits for i don't know used to be seven eight hundred bucks uh, i haven't priced them in two three years i assume they're higher but yeah i'm gonna guess this is a 52 or older 51 52 right in that range super c new skins Got 986 here, and again, looks like it's selling with the front weights. There's four there. And I don't know. Oh, okay, you get okay one one small handle and three bigs. But I just paid 140 bucks a piece for those at the last auction. But yeah, you got new steers on here. I haven't checked the back yet. But 986, about 100 horse, 105 ish. And I know there's gonna be people that argue, but you want to split hairs, you do it on your own time set up for the snap on clamp on whatever duels rims garbage really tires i mean you're gonna change all that out you might as well just get new skins 18 438 so i consider that correct for 100 horse tracker cat too and you know you see oil here and stuff and it's generally up high like that a lot of times it's just pulling the hose out you get a little leakage you know out of that and if over a five year period, you're pulling the hose out and getting a few drops, pulling the hose out, getting a few drops, and you're doing that all season long, planting and harvest. Well, that's what it's gonna look like when you don't clean it. So, and it could be something else, but either way, that's your back. But yeah, oh man, this rim's even worse. Well, 986. Well, 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 we meet again. 606 diesel this is the same tractor that sold at wtc for sure i recognize the seat for sure i recognize the duct tape steering wheel and there was a bungee over here and the bungee's gone so somebody's replaced it with bail oh no the bungee ain't gone it's just on there more securely <laughs> holding the tie rod in there you go and uh you can go back check that video out the rear skins aren't real bad on this neither are the steers rare we know i can't remember what they made of these but they made them that's for sure but yeah he bought it in sager town and now i'm out in southington ohio chalkers auction you know i'm gonna get to see it sell again and so are you well we might as well add a 1066 turbo to the show and this one doesn't look too bad now Everything's relative compared to some of the other tractors. This one don't look that bad. Decent seat on there. Skins will, in my opinion, would run me probably two more years. Good steers. Two more years. And uh, go around the back. Got a Cat 3. Dual. Dual. Yeah, and it doesn't have the rust prevention program going on here. Huh. Rims look okay. 
incorrect battery for it. In fact, this should also have two batteries. It's a diesel. Yep, and a lot of times on these, you know, you drive them and the linkage is all, the shifter linkage is all screwed up and stuff and needs gone through. And I know a lot of guys have these and, and when that happens, they just get rid of them because they don't want to fix them. But this tractor also worth fixing, 1066. There you go. Just in case you were wondering, this is a tractor, SC, case SC. Looks all right. I mean, somebody did a, you know, I don't know. I'm 15 years old and this is my first tractor paint job on it. But yeah, I know I got a couple case guys, so. Oh, there you go. Let me tell you one thing. When in doubt, you ain't got no duct tape, electric tape. Yep, easy on, easy off. Probably the sooner you get off of this thing, the happier you'll be. All right, got the 2 Plus 2 here, and a lot of people that have owned these, they say they're basically a 1086 times 2. So, yeah, I'll just walk and gawk. That front end's been replaced. Yeah, smooth as a baby's butt on the front. Okay, on the rear. It's got the right size skins on there, though. Cat 3. Three remotes. And dual PTO. Now, Bame Farm had one of these, and oh, Jake, you got rid of it just about as soon as you got it. He tore into it. I think he split it and fixed a bunch of stuff on it. And uh, either way, he, he's 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 pretty wrench worthy. So if he got rid of it, I probably would never own one. All right, what am I eating? Steak sandwich, pepper and onions. And I mean, they, they even put them on top of the bun. So you know it's fun and stuff. All right, the Massey 1080 is the rescue tracker. And uh, this Toro stalled on its way in to sail. Just, they couldn't get it restarted. So the old 1080 to the rescue. And it's on a mission. And uh, maybe when that guy's done with his mission, he'll go fishing. Instead of wishing, he was fishing. So what they do, they got the internet readout right there on the screen so you can stand right there and watch on four, this bit two, against two. you. On the internet. Got this Polaris Ranger they just pulled in. Oh, it's not a first on race day. And it's not an international. It's a bow tie. And it's a C65. I don't know what year it is. If I had to guess, I would say... Anywhere from 1970 to 76. And uh, I'm going to open that door crawl up in it. it. It does look clean. So, yeah, probably 300 bushel. I don't know. I'd probably be a little more comfortable with about 250 in there. I don't want to overload these things. But, yeah, let's crawl up in this thing while they're selling the subcompact tractors. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta tell you, don't look, don't look horrible. Don't look horrible. Yeah. It's got the old truck smell to it. Same as my International Loadstar. It is a five-speed. There's your high-low. And I don't know where. See, on the International, you got an activation lever and then a lift and lower the red lever, and I don't, I mean, oh, well, there's the PTO right there, okay, okay, yeah, huh, and it reads, looks like 88,000 miles, that's kind of high for a grain truck, most guys, you know, they, they haul their grain within 10 miles of home, so that's a lot of 10 mile trips, but I don't know. I don't know. I could see this thing going thirty-five to five thousand dollars ish. Now I don't know how good it looks in the video, but it looks okay in real life. It does, but no joke. Boat just told me it's got twelve hundred hours on it, and I don't know. It might, but it ain't. Like he said, it ain't gained a tenth of an hour since they moved it up here. But yeah, twelve hundred hours on this nine eighty-six. 
and uh, we'll get to see this sell and hey if they want to make the announcement that it has 1200 hours and it's all original then go for it but if it does i guess this would be one to buy well i didn't preview it but here's a little case crawler crawling his way in this is case Lex, 310 case 310c Now 
Case 530 they drug in. Guys, that thing runs like a top. Nice little 530 case. Straight, 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 weights on and all. They're up to the 
So, 1900. 1900 bucks. Got him a little 300. Two, and, triple zero and I believe uh, Devil's Eight. Tractor's coming in, the old 666. Alright, we got one out of order. This is 238. 666 Guys International Block Top Fenders. Nice little tractor. The internet, 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 the they don't know what they want to get 45, 5,000, they want to go to 5, 55, they don't know what they want to get 5, 6, they want to go to 6, they want to go to 5, 5, 7, they want to go to 7, they want to go to 5, 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 Eighty-seven and a half. Eighty-seven and a half. So, equipment tax. Where's she headed? Wadsworth, Ohio. Eighty-five hundred dollars. Eighty-five hundred on a 656. six fifty-six. Six thousand a buyer. Thank you. Got a John Deere coming in next year. Yeah, eighty-five hundred six thousand. Fourteen eighty-six. This American you here. The owner here on this tractor. I thought I saw him. In. Over there, James. They're right there with an There's a pedigree right on it. Some some kind of pedigree. Is that all kinds of work order or something? Big work order on there? Yeah, that's the one I couldn't read because I didn't have my okay. glasses on. He can, James can tell you anything he did to it. did a bunch of stuff to it, guys. Stomp down big tractor. All righty, on the 15. He's thinking about 15. If you're able to talk to him right here, guys, he's got a bunch of work done on it. It's going to take 15 to buy it. That, that's not a bad price if hey, look at this it is what on. the paper says 50, it is. 75 feet. Here's the uh, Ford 901 Three. high crop. 2000 bucks. I got 16 on the internet. I got 2000 on the internet. 25. 
You better be waving your hand. Here we go with a white 260 high crop. Maybe the uh, last one I ever seen. No sale. Are we about done? Got to 7,500. Hey, got another David Brown. Huh? Okay, okay. A little 350. We're going to stick one at 203. Hey, look at this original 350 utility. Donnie, how much you want to get for that one? That's your kind. 35? Come on. 25? 25. We're sitting there parking like a kid. Seven and a half. Thousand bucks. Thousand bucks. Seven and a half. 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 Se